I've always believed in testing my limits, breaking through barriers. My journey has taken me across borders, but staying rooted in Toronto, competing in League One has shaped me. Now, the Northern Super League gives me the chance to take my career to the next level, right here at home. Joining okay, ASU momentum is definitely growing for the Northern Super League as the Women's Professional Soccer League's launch is fast approaching. The 16 league has now secured former CFL Commissioner Mark Cohan to chair the board of directors. Mark Cohan, of course, has quite a bit of experience building up a Canada-only sports league. Mark, welcome back to CB24 Breakfast. Good to see you this morning. Good to see you. I'm so excited. You see the smile on yeah, my face. Yeah, what a new challenge because the CFL was a well-established league by the time you took over, but you helped, of course, you know, move things around and, and improve things. What's this opportunity? I know you're not the commissioner, but right. as the board chair, how different is this opportunity? and how exciting is it? Well, uh, you know, I love doing things for Canada. Obviously, the CFL was great, then yeah. I chaired the Juno Awards for seven years. Uh, and when I think about where we are in the world today for women's sports, like this is a, uh, an important moment. So, you mm -hmm. know, think about how great our, our female athletes are on, on the pitch. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, our women are some of the best soccer players in the world. When I started my career at the NBA, the WNBA was just starting. Think right. of the Caitlin Carter effect. So it's an important moment for women's sports. And then I felt I could really make a difference. Mm -hmm. You know, with my experience at the CFL, working at Major League Baseball in the NBA. So, and then finally, my daughter, who's 18, said, Dad, you have to do this. <laughs> you have right. to do this. So, yeah. all that coming together, I think it's entrepreneurial, it's exciting, and we're going to build something fresh and new for the country. Yeah, yeah this is a, this really feels like we're in the middle of a moment, because it's not the beginning of the moment. We saw the PWHL successful, you know, entry now. They're going to grow. Uh, with the Northern Super League, what do you see as the opportunities for the league, you know, specifically to soccer? Because like you mentioned, Canadian women's now National soccer team has had tremendous success. Now we're going to see them playing on a more regular basis on different teams. Though. Well, number one, we can we can bring some of these great female athletes back, mm -hmm. you know, these women back to our country to play, yeah. rather than them going on to Brazil or the UK or even south south of the border. Mm -hmm. But you know, think about this: our women are the best in the world. Like this is a sport where our women have outperformed the men. Yeah. So I think we have this great opportunity to really elevate, you know, soccer even more in this country. What's amazing is that two thirds of Canadians, you know, you know, watch women's sport in some capacity in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, soccer or football, I should now, it's now the real uh, football yeah, you know, yeah. for, for me, world's football. Um, essentially, it's the most played sport in this country yeah. um, as a team sport. So I think there's this great opportunity to build it on a national basis, but really build community at the local level. And that's mm -hmm. what we, I did at the CFL, and that's what we're going to do here as well. And, and you know, Mark, you know, the Grey Cup's coming up this weekend. Canadians will gather around their televisions to watch that. Canadians love cheering on other Canadians. We love supporting what we're developing, don't we, as well? Yeah, that's so true. And I, and I view our championship will be November of next year, right around Grey Cup, Grey Cup okay. week as well. And I think that will be a moment where the country will stop and cheer our women's soccer players on. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, other things that are happening on a global stage around, around football for women is, you know, CONCACAF yeah. in 2026, there'll be a CONCACAF, you know, championship. And the winner of our league will get to play teams from all across the America in the Caribbean. So that's another great opportunity for Canadians to cheer on our, our athletes. That is excellent to hear. Uh, let's also consider, you know, you obviously have, you know, deep tentacles, you know, the business community as well, the corporate Canada. What are, what are you hearing from corporate Canada about the Northern Super League and, and what the opportunities are and how much they want to, you know, take part? Well, last night I was up late, uh, you know, emailing to corporate leaders and government leaders that I know. Uh, I was getting amazing texts by saying, Mark, this is amazing. This is great for our country. This is great for, for women in sport. And I think we're going to see corporate Canada have already started to rally around the Northern Super League, but they're rallying around, you know, other leagues here. Um, I think we're going to see that that rallying around what we're trying to do here. We're going to see more government uh, rallying around us, and uh, I think it's just, a, you know, a perfect opportunity now. Yeah, the rallying cry. I can hear it already. Yes. Mark Cohan, new chair of the board for the Northern Thank Super you. League. Nice to meet you again, Thank and nice uh, you. good luck with this new role. This sounds Thank exciting. You. Okay, appreciate this.